Welcome back to Paddy's Golf Tips. Uh, I've had a few questions back about my tips. So these are three bonus ones that kind of, they're not long enough for their own tip, but uh, they're, we're going to put them together and hopefully they'll make some sense. The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer of the year is Podrick Harrington. <laughs> How to find your strike point or maybe how to ensure that you hit the golf ball first and not the turf okay so hitting the golf ball I've already kind of shown you to you but we want to make sure that we make contact with the ball and the divot should be after so if I show you that if I if I mark this on the ground a nice way of doing this is just put a line on the ground with your shoe like so put the ball at the front of this and we want all the divot after that line So as you can see, it was a tiny bit thin, but the whole of my divot is left of the golf, left of that line. Okay, very simple way of doing it. Ball is there, take a bigger divot this time. So me, right on the line, that was a little heavy. But as you can see, my divot started just a fraction of, of, of underneath the ball, just a fraction in front of it. Wouldn't be disastrous on the course but a good way of showing, I can see my strike point. I do this a lot with my wedges, okay? So again, strike point. Okay, that was a better one. You can see the divot started about there going forward. Another way of doing this, which again, I've done this with an alignment stick in the past. I'm gonna do it with a towel now. So just put a towel in the ground. Now, this will make sure you don't hang back and hit behind it. So towel, I don't want to hit the towel. You'll need about four inches there. So again, a lovely strike there. Golf ball, turf afterwards, okay? That's a great way of doing it. It's not gonna hurt you, but you will try and avoid it. And that will make you move forward onto the golf ball and make sure your divots after the golf ball. We always want to hit the little ball before the big ball. We always want to hit the golf ball before the earth, okay? So ball first on all shots, nearly all shots, bunkers are slightly different. But off, yeah, most shots we want to hit the golf ball first and the ground second, okay? The grooves and the dimples make the ball go in the air. You don't have to help it up there. Okay, that's one, strike point. Two, chicken wing. You know, a lot of people ask how to cure a chicken wing. I know it's very personal for some people who have it. Uh, so a chicken wing in golf is when the left elbow goes like this. Again, maybe they're listening too much to the online stuff of trying to get shaft lean at impact. We just want to hit the brakes at impact in order not to chicken wing. So what I'm going to say to you, if you don't want to get your elbow going out like so, we want to make sure we hit the brakes, keep our arms down and packed, keep our shoulders packed, and we're going to finish like this as our training drill. So. so no chicken winging at all there. My left arm has stayed straight. By trying to reduce my follow through, trying to stop at impact, we'll throw the club and you'll get that finish. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to stop at impact. You're trying to keep your elbows down. You're trying to keep a good, you're trying to get a good full pelvis and torso through but you're trying to keep your arms down show you that one again like so okay so a nice actually gives you a very nice place a bonus tip here one that you don't often see from mr harrington but how to get the club twirl so if that's your main goal you've seen this club twirl by trying to keep your elbows down, trying to stop at impact, you're perfectly, oh, twirl. It's nearly, I have to practice the club twirl, but I'm in position to club twirl it. By hitting the brakes, 
There we go. Perfect.